I'm still inside the XYZ standards DG and lib file and I've imported textiles from a legacy workspace and I have those listed here. At this point you'll want to use these legacy textiles as a starting place to build out the new ORD textiles. So there are some tools to help you use these as a starting place. So if you right click you can copy, you can rename, you can delete. You also have these icons up at the top. Any change that you make to these textiles are going to make the textile turn blue, letting you know that there is an unsaved change. And then you'll need to save that prior to leaving the dialog. Before I get into how to create new textiles and how to update the existing ones, first I want to talk about how the textiles are copied into the DGNs. So first off, text elements can be placed with or without a textile. But let's say you have an older project from a legacy workspace where textiles were used. Textiles specified in a DGN library, when they are used, they're going to be copied into the local file. So when you're bringing legacy files forward, a local copy of that old textile will stay intact with the file. I'm going to go into a different workspace, just going to open up the Bentley delivered workspace and open up a file that is coming from an older workspace. Okay, so I, here I am in that file using the Bentley delivered workspace and I, op I open up the textile dialog. I'm going to see all of these gray books which are telling me this is coming from a DGN library from the Bentley delivered workspace. But if I scroll down to the bottom, you're going to see a list of the blue books. So if I hover over that, that's going to tell me that's a local style. So what's happened is the design file has read all of the textiles that have been used and they've been copied into the file as local. So at this point, if I were to make any changes to these textiles here, it would update the textile. But if I were to update the DGN library, it's not going to update. Now I am going to point out a couple buttons here in the dialog. So let's say that you do make a change to your DGN library, the textiles inside of there. If you do have a situation where the textiles in your DGN are out of sync with your library, then you'll have a button down here called Update All from Library that will appear. Another handy tool is if I come to this model, I'm going to use this V8i Design Large as an example. So let's say you bring the file forward and you want to update the textiles to change them from using your legacy textiles to your new ones. So there is a way to easily do this. It's just a remapping tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find my V8i large design textile that's been copied into this file. And that is right there. And then if I right click and say remap elements, this is going to read my DGN and look for anywhere where that textile was used. And then I have the option to choose which textile that I want to replace it with. 